Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now, we are in the fourth quarter of 2021. That means it's cell phone season. Now, I know, what does cell phones have to do in credit card world? Well, they actually have one thing in common. You see, cell phones are expensive and made out of glass and prone to break. Sounds like something that needs insurance potentially. And credit cards, wouldn't you know it, offer a level of cell phone protection and coverage if you use them the right way. So in today's episode, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about how cell phone coverage works specific to credit cards. So if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead, press the subscribe button. Let's get to work. Okay, first things first, before we get too far, I myself have one credit card, the Chase Freedom Flex, that offers cell phone protection. It's a MasterCard Ward Elite. So as a result, for the best reference so I can get the best information, I'm going to be referencing that card in the MasterCard Ward Elite program specific to the Freedom Flex. Now, there are a lot of cards out there that do offer this protection. So this video is meant to be more as a guidepost so you can know what to look for the questions you need to ask and things like that um, to just understand this is like for my one specific card. So with that out of the way, let's first start out with the basics. When we talk about coverage here, what kind of coverage can you expect from the credit card? So let's take a look at that now. So again, specific to the flex card that I have, the coverage applies to the card holder, so your name has to be on the card. Um, you get a maximum of $800 per claim, two claims per year, $1,000 max per year, and a $50 deduct. Now, you must file the claim within 90 days. If the claim involves theft, the police report must be filed within 48 hours. For claims involving damage, a repair estimate must be included, and reimbursement will be issued once reviewed and approved. Now I have looked at multiple cards before making this video and that is the baseline for just about all the cards I've seen. Now the amount of coverage and the amount of claims and total claim amount per year does vary card to card. But for the most part, it's your typical cell phone insurance contract that you would get. Like if you remember the old days when you would go through like a Verizon or AT&T, to insure your phone. You weren't really insuring your phone with Verizon. Verizon would partner with a company called Assurion, and Assurion insures a ton of stuff. Cell phones is kind of what they're most known for. And so you'd be basically going through Verizon as a middleman getting the insurance there. It would be on your bill, and then you would end up working with Assurion when you have to find a claim. Now, why do I mention this? Because it's important to note here as we get into the really nitty gritty of this video that when you're looking at the card terms and conditions, you know, you're gonna go to the card issuer page, and they might direct you to MasterCard if it's a MasterCard Award Elite Benefit, for example. But then you're going to want to look for who's actually providing the insurance in their program because that's going to have the best list of terms and conditions for that actual insurance provider. So that's just something to note there. So again, at a high level, that last slide, you know, it shouldn't be that shocking. That's kind of how insurance works as a whole. But when it comes to credit card, cell phone insurance, there are some key things you need to know to make sure you're getting your full coverage and you qualify and especially to understand what does qualify for for this protection. So first things first, let's start out with damage. Again, I started out the top of the show talking about, you know, your phone being uh, very fragile. You know, they're made of glass now, partly because the back of them needs to be glass. I think for wireless charging, it could be plastic too, but glass is more premium. So anyways, with that in mind, most damage is going to be covered. But what I found in my research is that cosmetic damage is borderline sometimes. So if you were to drop that, I mean, I have a case on this now, but if you were to drop this in the corner, gets nicked up a little bit, that might not be covered because the phone is still functioning fine. Now, another big thing that may or may not be covered and you need to check for is screen damage, right? So for whatever reason, these phones, not just iPhones, when you drop them, the screen tends to, you know, shatter. Or don't worry, I have, a, I have a screen protector on here so I can do that. But that, since it's so common, some insurance providers have said, you know, we're just not going to deal with that. You can go to a third party place, you can go to Apple, whatever, and get the screen fixed yourself. But it's too common, it's probably costing them too much money. So when you talk about damage, again, most things that make the phone stop working will be covered again up to that $800 in this example. But you're really going to have to go dive down into your card agreement and see what they're call, talking about specifically when it comes to damage. Okay, so now two other big things aside from damage when it comes to phones is theft and loss. So in my research, a lot of these companies do cover theft and that's near and dear to me because I have had a few phones stolen back in the day. Now theft is contingent on you filing a police report within 48 hours of this happening. So filing a police report isn't too terrible. You know, you can just kind of go down to your local uh, precinct or post, whatever they call it there and file the report. You'll get some information, hopefully a document that you can pass on to the insurance company. 
And again, that should work just fine. Now, again, you're still going to want to check and make sure. Now, loss, on the other hand, in my experience or my research, again, loss is not covered because there's no real way to prove that you lost your phone. Now, the difference between theft and loss is one, when you file a police report, you know, that would, and you submit it, that if you were lying, that would end up being insurance fraud. So that's kind of the distinction. Even if you lost it, I wouldn't necessarily say you go file a police report and say it's stolen because then you're in the insurance fraud space. So as a result, if you lose it or you misplace it, just because it's, it's impossible to prove on the insurance uh, side of things, that's also not going to be covered, which is kind of a bummer because it, it does happen. But, you know, these days, I don't know who's not just glued to their phone so maybe it'll be a little bit safer nowadays that everyone's a millennial okay and with that said that is the basics on theft damage and loss as well as coverage now how do you actually qualify for this so one you have to have a credit card that that covers or offers this benefit I will give you a few recommendations at the end of this on cards that I think are pretty good now the cards they have a few different requirements normally one of two things I've seen some cards where they say you must actually buy the phone outright when full with the credit card and then you must pay the cell phone bill every month with that card now in the case of the the Freedom Flex, you didn't have to buy the phone outright with it, but you do have to pay your cell phone bill every month. So pausing here for a second, if you have a card that says, hey, our program that says, hey, you need to buy the phone in full, you do need to go into a little bit more detail because sometimes you can buy a phone, a used phone from eBay or Amazon or just off of your friend and obviously you'd be paying cash in that spot. So you just need to make sure who are you allowed to buy the phone from? Does it need to be new? Can it be used? Can it be refurbished? These are just things you should consider diving down in the terms and conditions of your specific card and looking at, especially if there is a caveat for buying the phone new. Okay, so with that, let's talk about the actual process of filing a claim. Now, again, each issue or each insurance provider is going to be a little bit different, but generally speaking, documentation is going to be the name of the game. So I'm putting on screen a list of documents that you probably need, have handy if you want to start a claim. And what they're going to do is just going to submit all that. They'll end up reviewing it, the insurance company. And they're going to issue payment. Um, now, what I saw was it's actually going to be a, a issued a, a reimbursement to your card. That's the way they're going to do it. Now, some may just send you a check for it. And now, some also may want to follow up with you to get a receipt from the uh, repair to make sure you actually went through with the repair. That's not uncommon in the insurance world either. Okay, so that was the basics of credit card cell phone insurance. So again, if you're familiar with insurance or using insurance, you know, automotive or home motor insurance, basically the same thing. Make sure you're documenting everything and following the process and you should be fine. Now that said, what are the pros and cons of going with a credit card? Because in the world of cell phone insurance, you have options. So if you're an Apple fan, you have Apple Care. Apple Care, I think is like 10 bucks minimum or like 15 if you want the, uh, the one with theft protection. I'm sure Samsung and Google phones have their own as well. So the big win here is pricing. Um, you know, if you have a no annual fee card like the Freedom Flex that we've been referencing, then you have a level of cell phone coverage for free. Now, even better here, if you have a family plan, so, you know, let's just say I have four phones on my family plan, the account is in my name and the credit card is in my name. You know, I don't see why you wouldn't be getting cell phone coverage for every single phone that you're paying for, especially if you're the parent and you actually bought all those phones and you're on the account, you know, so that would be much cheaper and much safer than paying at least even 10 bucks per phone to insure. You're talking about 40 bucks versus free. So the biggest win here is going to be its free coverage. So let's take a look at one more slide about what to watch out for, kind of summarize this, and then I'll give you some credit card recommendations if you're interested. So for what to watch out for, if you're going to use this, again, amount of coverage is huge. Coverage requirements, what do you need to do? Do you need to buy the phone outright? Do you need to just pay your bill with it? What counts as damage? That was a reoccurring thing that I saw in my research. Another big one is, is this primary or secondary coverage? So for example, if you break your phone in your home, would that insurance provider, that cell phone insurance provider try to say, well, no, you need to go through homeowners first and then come to me for the extra amount? Now, the, another thing to watch out for, this is supposed to be standard on all MasterCard World Elites, but I don't think it really is. Like you talk about the city custom cash and city double cash, you know, they don't have cell phone insurance, but they are branded as MasterCard World Elites. In fact, I have 
have a video. I might be working on it now, but breaking down all the MasterCard Award Elite benefits, but just don't assume because it's Award Elite, it has the cell phone and, and protection with it. Long story short, it is card issuers, so Chase Bank of America, cities of the world, they can decide to take all those MasterCard Award Elite benefits, reject them, or modify them. So don't assume just because you see the silver and black logo that it's actually going to have cell phone insurance. And again, you know, this is talked about World Elite's lab, but Visa cards can also have cell phone insurance. The Wells Fargo Active Cash has a level of cell phone insurance, and it's a Visa card. So again, it's really down to the card itself, not necessarily the program, though MasterCard World Elite did kind of make this popular. Okay, so with all that said, if you really like the idea of cell phone coverage from your credit card, what are some cards you should consider? Well, I've grabbed three interesting cards that I think you can get a lot more use out than just cell phone coverage at different price points. So let's take a look at those now. So first up, we've been talking about the Freedom Flex card all day now. Again, $800 per claim, two claims per year, a max of $1,000 a year. Plus, you know the Freedom Flex very well. It's a very strong no annual fee card. Now next up in the Chase lineup, again, we have the Inc. Business Preferred. So this card comes with $600 in cell phone protection. It also has a $100 deductible per claim, and you can file three claims per 12 month period when you do get up to $1,800 in coverage per year over those three claims. But Amex Platinum is my third option. A lot of folks have the Platinum. Again, you can get a lot of benefits out of it. Cell phone insurance is one of them. $800 per claim, two claims a year, and a max of $1,600 a year. And so there we have it, guys. That is cell phone credit card coverage explained. Again, my choice would probably be the Chase Freedom Flex unless you already have one of the other two cards because, again, having a no annual fee card provides you that level of coverage doesn't mean you're getting that level of coverage for free. And, you know, for most people, I think $800 is going to be fine. I don't know that the, the $1,000 phones are really as popular as they seem, more so than they're just the ones that get the most video and gets most talked about. But anyways, guys, if you like this one, drop me a thumbs up down below. If you found it particularly interesting, consider subscribing the channel again posting content just like this every Monday Wednesday and Friday of course here every Sunday with that recap episode that is all the news you can use in the week that was in credit and finance my question for you guys is let me know down below what you think of cell phone credit card insurance do you use this have you ever gone through the process of filing a claim before let us know your stories and your thoughts and experiences down below and of course what other cards do you use for this love to get your thoughts on that but anyways guys that's gonna do it for this one as always thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one